started, shall we? All right. Hi everybody, I'm Krista Sparkles and welcome to my workout. We are doing a full body chair workout with yours truly. And we're going to have so much fun. If you need a mat, go ahead and grab a mat because we will be on the mat for a few things. Otherwise, all you're going to need is a handy dandy chair that you probably have at home laying around that you use for everything else. And let's go ahead and get started. Now remember, modify as you go. Whatever feels good for your body, go ahead and modify it down as you need to. And if you need to take a break, remember this is your workout. I'm simply here to guide you and to be your cheerleader and we're going to be successful no matter what. So let's get started. We're going to go ahead, place down your chair and let's go ahead and take it on down to our palms. We're going to take it down to the palms. We're going to send those hips down and reach those feet back. So we're in the standard high plank. Take a deep breath in through the nose and send those hips back. Get that stretch through the chest, send those heels down, allow those hips to anchor over those heels, and take it forward. We're just stretching through the body here just to warm it up. Inhale as you round it forward here, then exhale, take it on back. Let's do this a few times. If you haven't already, feel free to take a moment to follow and subscribe to support my channel and these workouts, that way I can continue to keep putting these out for you guys. I'm all about accessibility during these times. So anything I can do to make these more accessible for you to work out with me or to work out at a later time is what I'm aiming for. Let's go ahead and do this a few more times. Here we go, you got four. Sending it back, we have three. Good, we have two. Good, last time. And let's find that forward plank. Roll those shoulders back, draw the belly in, reach those heels away, keeping that chin off the chest. Find this hold. Taking that deep breath in through the nose, let's draw that right knee into the chest and release. Left knee to the chest and release. It's a slow mountain climber. We're not looking for speed here. We're just warming up the upper body, getting those legs moving. Now, take that right knee, touch that right elbow, left elbow, take it back. Left knee to left elbow, right elbow, we're gonna cross it, yeah? Good, and back, and in to the right, back, good. Like you're drawing a triangle with that knee. Draw the navel in, find the engagement of those glutes the whole time. Let's do a few more right here. We're just getting warmed up for three. Good, and it's two. Beautiful work so far. Last time. And take it on back right here. Find this hold for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and go ahead. Find that down dog. Now you have that chair elevating you here and lifting us up so we can arc that tailbone on up right here. Let's go ahead, rock it forward and drop it down to those elbows. So we're here in this inclined forearm plank, which will relieve a lot of tension from the lower back and the chest and the shoulders the higher we are. It's a great modification if you're unable to perform the plank on the ground with both your elbows and your feet. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. You're just finding this hold here. Drawing the belly in, reach your heels on back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it down right here and send those hips on back and rock it forward. Send those hips on back, drop those heels and point those toes. So we're here. It's almost like a body saw with those arms, right? Like a downward facing dog, like a dolphin pose. We're using those abs to move and hinging from those shoulders for five. Good, just warming up those abs, four. Beautiful. Three. Good, and it's two. Last time. 
time. Find this hold forward. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Send it on back right here. We got another variation coming up to target those obliques to warm it on up. We're back into that forearm plank. Here we go. Find that forearm plank hold. Reach those heels back. Press those hips forward. Squeeze those thighs together. Here we go. Dip it to the right. Center. Left. Finding those little rainbow dips. I love doing planks on the chair. It's a very low impact. It's a great modification for any plank work. It alleviates a lot of tension off the lower back and off the chest, but we're still working here. Good, keep going. Inhale down, exhale up. Right here we dip, center, dip, center. You have five. Go in nice and slow. Here we go for four and three. And it's two. Last set. And go ahead, take it on forward for four, three, two, and step those feet forward, send those hips on back, and just find this traction pull. I love this stretch. It gives me a great stretch down the lats, down my arms and my chest, just alleviating any tension that I might have in the lower back. I'm slowly going to roll myself on up for five, four, three, two, Roll those shoulders back. Your abs should be nice and warm by now. We're gonna go for a Bulgarian split lunge. So what that's going to look like, we're going to keep that right foot forward and I'm going to take my left foot back onto that chair. Now, as I'm here, you wanna make sure with your foot, it's whatever is comfortable for you. You can keep the top of the foot down or you can keep it up to your toes. I personally like to keep it onto my toes. It's a lot easier on my shins, but it's all about personal preference here, yeah? Whatever works for you and your body. You wanna walk that right leg forward, that forward leg forward enough, so when we come down to that lunge, that knee isn't coming all the way forward. It's stacked directly on top of those heels. So when you're ready, you're squaring off those hips, hands on those hips as you exhale and press. Good. Keep that chest up. You're finding this breath through that right side. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you press. Good. I'm gonna walk it out a little more. I feel like this would be more comfortable if you had shoes. Just be mindful, especially if your chair is a hard surface. Good, draw the navel in. You wanna think about finding that control in those abdominals as well. So yes, your left leg may be working a bit, but ultimately, you want that right glute, the back of that right leg, firing up. Good. Inhale as you lower, and exhale as you take it on up. Good. Taking your time right here. You got a few more to go. Keeping those hips squaring off right here. Whoo! You have eight. Can we come down a little deeper? Seven. Oh my goodness, my legs are burning. It's six. Woo, you got five. And four. It's three. Oh my goodness, it's two. I'm gonna hold it, holding it at the bottom, hands in prayer. I'm praying that this is over very soon. I'm pulsing it down, pulsing it down for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it up, pivot to your left. If I'm on my right, I'm pivoting to my left. So if you're on your left leg, you're pivoting to your right. We're gonna go into this lateral lunge. That left leg still stays elevated. Here we go. Send those hips back. Slowly stand up. Inhale as you lower. And stand on up. Good, taking that deep breath in through the nose. Reach those heels back, reach your hips back as well. Drive the weight through the back of that right heel, that standing leg. Now keep that chest up as well. As much as we want to collapse that chest onto those thighs, you want to keep that heart up. Good. Now I'm not looking for speed here. I'm looking for the quality of these reps. 
you're squeezing through the right side, but you're also getting some work through that front quad as well, but also stretch through those inner thighs. You're doing such a great job. Keep going. Woo! You have five right here. Here we go. You got four. Oh, it's burning, you guys. It's three. And two. This last time, find that hold. Pulse it down. Pulse. Can you drop it down a little lower? Send those hips back. Booty back. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stand on up. Now we're gonna take it on down onto the floor. We're gonna continue with those legs. Take it down to your right elbow. That left leg is still on the chair. We've got some inner thigh pulses and these are killer. It's like a side plank, getting those obliques, getting those inner thighs. So when you're ready, take yourself up onto that right forearm. Flex that foot for support. Take it on up, find this hold. Now you're just squeezing it up. Woo! Oh my goodness. Find that lift. Keep that chin off the chest, reach. Think about taking that heel up higher than those toes and draw the navel in, keep those hips stacked. Lift up and out of that shoulder you're stacked on and find that lift, press. Good, let's go for eight right here. We're not here for long, for seven, six. Beautiful, you guys, you got five, four, and three, and two, Last time, hold it for five, four, three, two, and it's one. We're gonna take ourselves down. You're gonna find this four point kneeling. And as we're here, you're gonna keep that left foot on the chair. Again, if this does not feel comfortable for you, you can always reverse this, hands on the chair, or take it on down to the floor so it's a regular plank. Spread those fingertips wide and step your right foot to meet the left. So we're holding this here in this incline plank. Find this hold. All we're gonna do as you're finding this hold, shoulder tap as you reach and find that shoulder tap. Maybe open up your stance on the chair a little bit and eliminate too much of a weight transfer. That way your body weight is forward the whole time. So we're getting those shoulders. We're now getting the upper body, getting those abs. You're squeezing through those glutes. Hamstrings are activated to keep those legs engaged, to keep that plank nice and steady. You got eight right here. Seven, it is hard to talk and do this at the same time. Six, woo, five, nice. And it's four, beautiful, for three, two, Last time, hold it down for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, send your hips back. Oh my goodness, that was intense. Send it on back. Beautiful job, you guys. And we're gonna slowly reach it forward. Curl those toes underneath. Find that downward facing dog. Send the chest down and back. Reach those heels down. Then walk your feet and your hands together. Slow roll up one vertebra at a time for four, three, two, and roll those shoulders back. Nice, you guys. Are we ready to take it to the other side? Here's what we're gonna do. As we take it to the other side, I'm gonna change the chair, that way I can see what y'all are doing. So as I'm here, we're going to repeat the same thing. I did my right leg, now I'm going to do my left leg. So I'm going to take my left leg forward and my right leg is back. Whoop whoop, look at all these people. Quiet guy raiding with a party of nine? I have really horrible eyesight. Thank you guys so much, what's up raiders? I'm gonna keep my left leg forward, my right foot back, 
hands onto those hips. Let's find that lunge. Again, you want to keep that knee stacked on top of that heel. Hi, everybody in chat. Hi, husband. Thank you guys so much. If you want to work out with me, go ahead, grab a chair, and join along. Beautiful work, you guys, as you inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Now, again, that right leg might start to feel fatigued. I know mine is. So I want to think about keeping my focus in that forward leg the whole time. Look at all the emotes here. Oh, you are producing the love for me at the Love Factory. That sounds amazing. Love at the Love Factory. I like this idea. Good, you guys. For those of you who are new to my chat, new to my stream, hi, I'm Krista Sparkles. Thank you guys for joining me today. We are working it out, full body. If you're feeling generous, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, perhaps follow, do anything to share these workouts with your friends, with your family. Let's go for two more. Such great work, you guys. Last time, go ahead, take it on down. We pulse it. Good, you're squeezing through that left glute, digging through that heel, pressing up, 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 five, four, three, two, one, and stand on up and pivot. Facing towards the camera, facing towards that wall and pivoting to my right. From here, we send those hips on back and we stand on up, reach. Now again, we have to keep that chest up, right? Look at all these emotes blowing up in my chat right now. Again, I am working on new emotes as we speak. I'm working with an amazing illustrator who I've done work with for many years. And she comes up with the cutest art. It's the perfect pastel. It's like the perfect pastel and like 90s girl aesthetic that like you can dream of. And that's what I really resonate with. She actually designed some of these emotes that are already in the chat. I think she designed everything but Esther. So we're gonna amp it up a little bit. Thank you guys. I really appreciate your support during this time. As a fitness instructor for the past eight years, I've always been working at Pilates studios in person, having real life classes. So to be able to have a platform like Twitch, like the internet, to provide these workouts and make them accessible for you, it's like a dream come true. And I get to make it look however the way I wanted to. Good, few more. Here we go. Squeeze through that left side. Good. Last three. Good, and it's two. Last time. Hold it down, pulse it down. Now squeeze it back. Dig those heels down and send that booty back. Keep that chest up. Down, down. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. And take it on up. Let's take it on down. We're back to that crazy side plank. Inner thighs. I'm going to take my top leg on up. I'm gonna take my foot a little closer to the head of the chair so I have more support. It's up to you. Do whatever you need to do. If you need to modify it, just simply hold that side plank on the ground. So when you're ready, I'm gonna take myself on up. From here, I hold. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and lift. This is insane. You know, when I'm coming up with these workouts, I always try to incorporate something new into the routine. Not only will these exercises feel familiar as you do these workouts with me, but throwing in something new can feel like such a curveball, especially for me right now. Woo! I'm always mindful about the workouts I put together. That way we're always switching it up for the body. Last three, two, Last time, hold it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, inner thighs, ah! Go ahead, we're back into that high plank now. 
We did this already. Modify as you need to. You know the drill. My right foot goes back and my left foot goes back. All right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm taking that left knee to my right elbow and I switch. Getting those abs in. Getting that twist. Beautiful work. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale. You have eight right here. Keep those hips down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Hold that plank for five, four, three, two, and take it down. Find your child's pose. Beautiful. Send your hips back. Reach your hands forward. Take it on forward once again. Let's go ahead and find that downward facing dog. Go ahead and just pedal out through those heels. That way you can get a deeper stretch through the hammies. Send that chest towards those quads. And when you're ready, slight bend in those knees. Walk your hands in. Take a seat. Slowly roll yourself on up. Wasn't that like a good transition? That was solid. All right, I'm gonna take this chair forward a little bit. As I'm here, let's go into some more upper body. Let's hit those triceps. They're always killer. But you know what? We're here and we're gonna do it. Roll those shoulders back, draw the belly in. Walk your feet out just a little further, maybe a couple inches past those knees. Those legs are hip distance apart. Now, feel that booty graze that chair. So we don't wanna be out here, yeah? You want those shoulders back, drawing the navel in, holding that neutral, send it back and down. You should feel your booty and your back nearly grazing that chair. If you're out here, that means you're too far, yeah? You wanna keep it gliding along the surface and lifting on up. So notice the difference between here, the engagement of the lats to push away, yeah? Lower, exhale up. We lower. I should kidnap John. I really want him to work out with me. One of these days, I'm gonna do a workout with your partner challenge and see how that goes. But then he has to come out with a workout for me. Whoa, we have a subscriber in the house. Thank you so much. Can we load the chat up with emotes? Yes, I'd be more enthusiastic, but my arms are killing me. Last four and three. I'm pretty sure my eyeliner is seeping into my eyes. It's burning. Last two. Last time, hold it down, pulse it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, shake it on out. Ah! Shake it, shimmy it, shimmy it. Woo! All right, yeah. That eyeliner, it is seeping into my eyeballs. All right, let's continue with those arms, shall we? Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna take it on in. All right, we've got push-ups here, yeah? We're gonna take it to a push-up. Press those hips forward, lift one leg up. A, go ahead, take it on down, bend that knee in, reach. We got six here. Five. Four. Yes, everybody, shh, and three, shh, two, shh, last one, shh, and switch sides, six more to go, that's 12 total, shh, pull that knee in, shh, five, press those hips forward, drop that chest, even if it's not far, for four. Good. And three. Two. Last one. And 
and hold that plank right here. Right leg, left leg, reach, reach. Now hold it on up with the left side, lift it on up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Up, 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 you got six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it on in, take it down. Hello, squat, jump it in, hold that chair, jump it out, plank. Jump squat, and back, woo! Hello, strength, full body, baby. Can we add a push-up? Let's add it. Hit that squat. These are what I call friendly burpees. Nice. You got four. Good, land low. And three. Woo! And two. Last time. And send those hips back. Find that down dog. Hell yeah, you guys, you're so strong. You're doing such a great job. If you're watching right now and you're cheering us on, I feel your support. Slowly roll yourself up all the way. And let's take it on down, yeah? We got some abs. Here we go, we're gonna take a seat. We're gonna take it on down to our backs. Just keep those feet resting on the chair. Take those hands behind the head, elbows wide, flex those feet. Let's just go ahead and curl those up with the chest, not the chin to the chest. Now, when those palms are behind the head, keep those elbows wide, shoulders wide. Try not to pull and tug, yeah? It's less about how much force, but it's about the engagement of the upper ribs. So right beneath the chest, right beneath the pecs. Curling up beyond the tips of those shoulder blades, and that's it. It's a small little micro crunch. That's it for five, four, and three, and two. Hold it up right here. Hold it. Hold it. Now float those legs to tabletop right here. And extend those legs on up. Hold it. And reach. And reach. And reach. Keep those feet flexed. Fire up those hamstrings behind the legs. Eight, eight, seven, seven, beautiful. Six, six, five, five, good. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Hold it up right here, lower it down. And lift. Now hold it up, just lower the legs, tap the chair, and up. Can you add a slight curl to the pelvis, imprint the spine, and touch the ceiling? For four, modify, just hinge those hips with those bent knees. Three, and two, last time. And bring it in, shake it on out. Beautiful, you guys. All right, keep those feet on down, flex through those heels. Take a deep breath in through those noses, knees on top of those hips, curl the sacrum on up. Keep those ribs heavy, squeeze from underneath. Notice I'm not lifting my chest up. I do not wanna see those girls up in my chin, yeah? Keep the chest away, slowly roll it down one vertebra at a time. Let the girls party on their own without my chin supervising, okay? Good. Find that curl. Good. Think about that sequential roll up. You're starting from the top of the spine, taking it down. Notice how it's slowly peeling down. And then I have that neutral, that little mouse house here. Beautiful work, everybody. You're doing such a great job. We're almost done with our workout here. Second to last exercise, I know. We're gonna have an ab finisher after this and it's brutal, insane. Good, last three. Woo! And two. 
this last time. Are we ready? Hold it up right here and lift and lift. You got eight and seven. Beautiful. You got six. Squeeze from underneath. Five. Flex those feet. Toes up. Four. Major hamstring connection. Killing me here. Last three. It burns. It's two. Last time. Hold it. Hold it. Float that left leg. Tap the chair. Right leg. Tap the chair. Notice. No shift in my hips. Steady. Four. Woo! Three. Oh my goodness. Two. Last time. And take it on down. Hug those knees in. Oh my goodness. Cheese and crackers. Roll out those ankles. Roll out those knees. Great work, you guys. All right. This is gonna be our final one. We're gonna roll ourselves on up. Whew, I am drenched in sweat. All right, I'm gonna keep my elbows bent. I'm going to keep my feet up here for now so you can see what my upper body is going to do. So my elbows are back, my palms are facing in. We're gonna bend in and press. It's almost like a little tricep dip, yeah? They were like, wow. This is like nothing. You should be feeling that tricep engagement. It'll open up through the shoulders as the shoulders externally rotate to each side of the room. Now, are we ready to add the abs? Go ahead and balance those legs off. Little V crunch. Last five, four, three, two last time now i'm already like tapped out we're gonna do one more we're gonna take it to each side of this chair for our ab finisher am i crazy yes but am i looking up for your best interest yes modification don't do this with the feet on the chair keep your feet on the floor okay so when you're ready we're gonna take it on down to the side and up. Woo! Oh yeah. Keep those elbows bent. That's why we did all that tricep work, those V sit-ups, to help you keep that chest up. You got eight right here. Woo! And seven. And six. Woo! You got five. Four. Three, two, last one, hold it, can we hold it? Find that teaser, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. You're looking beautiful, you're looking great, you're looking sparkly as ever, even though it's sweat. It's four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, my abs are killing me. Great work, you guys, beautiful job. Take a second, reach those arms back. <sighs> Drop the knees to the right. Let you know what, let's take those feet up onto the chair. <sighs> Drop the knees to the right, look to your left. Find those arms in that cactus. Allow those shoulders to anchor down. Take the knees to the left, look in the opposite direction. Take it back to center. Beautiful, you guys. Draw those knees into the chest. We're gonna stretch on the chair. So take yourselves on down to your little fetal position because that was so hard. And then push yourselves up because you are an adult and you are strong and you are powerful. You're gonna take yourself on up. Find that downward facing dog and slowly Roll yourself on up. Ta-da! Let's walk this chair over. All right. We're gonna take that right ankle over that left thigh. How are we doing, chat? Whoo! I did not see any of the chat. I feel like I have to catch up with what everyone is saying right now.
Good. You're just finding this four, uh, figure four stretch. Keep that foot flexed so your knees are protected and you find that flat back. Yes, yeah, so we had a schedule this week of two workouts for three days and I'm like, no, my body cannot handle this. So we're gonna do a workout once a day for six out of the seven days. And go ahead, switch sides. And I think that'll be the perfect balance. Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights, we have strength training, much like this, more functional, traditional movements. We can add weights, we can add resistance bands. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do Pilates as cool down on, at 9 a.m. And then Saturdays, we do our cardio at nine because, you know, we gotta invite cardio to the workout party. Absolutely necessary. Reach those arms on back. Open up through those legs. Trust me guys, we are working a lot on my channel right now, making a lot of changes, making things a lot more accessible, a lot easier for me, a lot easier for you. And go ahead, take it on down. You're gonna keep your head on down. Keep your hands down onto the floor and let's lift those hips on off. Good. We're gonna bring those feet heel toe, heel toe together. Slowly roll yourself on up for five, four, three, two. Roll your shoulders back and we are all done. Hooray! Thank you guys so much for joining me today for our chair workout. This was a strength workout, 6 p.m. on Friday, and I had so much fun putting this workout together. And if you loved your workout today, make sure you hit that follow button. If you want, hit that subscribe button. Your support means the world to me. And in case you don't know who I am by now, hi, I'm Krista Sparkles. Uh, if you want to keep up with me outside of this, uh, you can find me on Instagram at Krista Sparkles and find my fitness page at Krista Sparkles Fitness where it's all fitness focused. And everything that we did today, there will be a condensed version on that page that goes live. And also these workouts will now be available on my YouTube channel. So not only will they be available here on Twitch as my VODs that you can see under my collection clips, but I will be uh, posting them in a new uh, YouTube channel that I made under Krista Sparkle's Lifestyle. So all of my streams from Twitch will be available on YouTube. So if YouTube feels more accessible for you, if you're traveling, you're on the go, or you don't have the Twitch app on your phone, and it's not as accessible, we're gonna start uploading them onto YouTube, uh, including this one. So I'm really excited to start including all of this you know, into everything that I'm doing. I'm so beyond excited. Tomorrow morning, it's 9 a.m. cardio, and at noon, I'm doing a get ready with me, and we're gonna do a card pull. We're gonna read from uh, Heart Talk by Cleo Way, just like we have been all week, and we're gonna get ready to put on my makeup, and we're gonna go on about our day because I need to look really good for when I go to the post office to drop off packages. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I have a giveaway that ends tomorrow and you can win a ton of resistance bands. I'm talking booty bands, mini bands, resistance bands with handles and glider discs. There's so much that you can win and it ends tomorrow. Go to my Instagram page at Chris Sparkles Fitness. Get the details in my link in my bio. I love you all so much. I'm Chris Sparkles. I'll see you all next time. And bye! I can do this all day.